No matter what it is you're striving for or what your respective industries are, whether it's sports, it's business, it's entertainment, we're all fighting for the same thing. We want to be top of our class. We want people to recite our name and reference us when they're speaking about, you know, who's the best in this respective industry. We want to win. But I'm making this video for so many people, especially young people who are coming up, who have coaches or who have mentors or have people really banging in their head. Win, win, win. Losing is for losers. Winning is everything. I need you to understand, yes, you fight and you practice and you um, have all of the preparation because you want to win but losing that that's part of the process you know you're gonna take an l like th there are very few floyd mayweathers in the world where he has a perfect record 50 and zero never tasted defeat ever they, how many how many people can ever say that some of the greatest of all time have taken losses this is to be expected so i don't want you 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 guys to really get so down on yourself because you're gonna have setbacks it comes you're gonna have those times where things just don't go your way you can you know really prepare and you can study and you can do all of the things that you you know, you have the capacity to do and you can be so ready for that moment. And, you know, sometimes it's just not your time. You know, it, it might be somebody else's time. It might be their day to, to, to wave their hand and, and have all of the cameras on them and have everybody saying their name. But does that take away from the fact that your time is coming? Absolutely not. Stick with it. You know, losing and having these setbacks, having these defeats, it, it tests character. It, you know, how bad do you really want it? If you get knocked down again and again, you have tried and you've started businesses and they failed. You've tried something else. It, it just hasn't worked. You you have done everything humanly possible. And when, when you get knocked, can you get back up? That, that's the true measure of a champion. Can you get back up? Can you learn from your mistakes? Can you really say to yourself, you know what? Let me examine where did I go wrong? What was it that I did wrong this time? And let me fix it, let me correct it, and let me get back in that batter's box. Because that's what it's all about. And eventually you will win. Eventually it will be your time. But the road to success, it's a journey. And it is very few people on planet Earth that hit it out the park their first time up at bat. You know, some of the some of some of the great, some of the people who we look at and we look and and, and you know we put them up on this pedestal and we're in awe of them and we want their autographs and they are leaders of industries. They have taken losses and many of them have taken losses on a public stage, a very public stage. You know, I sit and I think about for, for any of you guys who were around during that Mike Tyson era, the man's name was Iron Mike for a reason. Mike Tyson was knocking people out in 90 seconds. Like you were pissed off. If you ordered pay-per-view, you could not go to the bathroom. You couldn't do anything because by the time you got back to the TV, they're like, yo, the fight is over. But Mike lost to a guy named Buster Douglas. Like, you know, like really let's think about this. Mike Tyson is legendary, legendary. And he lost to a man named Buster Douglas. Now, where the hell is Buster Douglas now? Who, who's even thinking about Buster Douglas? And I don't mean that in, 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 a, in a bad way. I'm just saying he didn't go into history books. Yes, he went into history books for beating Mike Tyson, but it, but it's Mike, Mike, it didn't diminish Mike Tyson's legacy. It didn't take away from all of the, the, the amazing achievements that Mike Tyson brought to the sport. You know, we can look at LeBron James. How many times has LeBron James lost in the NBA Finals? But did that take away from the fact that LeBron James is arguably like one of the greatest player to ever lace up his sneakers and put on a uniform and step out onto that um, hardwood floor? No, absolutely not. You know, 
if, if, if you're a rap fan and, and you're a little older, you might remember Jay-Z, the GOAT. Jay-Z, one of the greatest rappers to ever touch a mic, was, was involved in this massively public battle with Nas and lost to Nas. And, and, and Nas, I don't take away anything from his greatness whatsoever. But fast forward a few years later and Jay-Z is the first rap billionaire. Amazing. Does, does the fact that Meek Mill took a public, a public loss to Drake in that rap battle take away from the fact that Meek Mill is doing so much great work by bringing light to prison reform and really helping people understand how so many people get caught in the system and can't get out of it and it's like this this um noose around their neck for the better part of their life just being you know going back and forth into the system again and again it doesn't take away from his great work stop looking at losses as though they are the end of the world because they're not they're just temporary setbacks they 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 are they're there for you to, to learn from you pick yourself up and you go forward again. So stop, you know, really putting your head in your hand and getting so down on yourself. Yes, we're all human. We all, you know, we, we want to win and we practice hard because at the end of the day, we want a favorable outcome. But sometimes it just doesn't go that way. And it's OK. The main thing is you stay in the fight. You keep moving forward, you know. I, I, I sit and I think about, you know, these these big time upsets and losses. Here you have Anthony Joshua, a guy who filled up Wembley Stadium multiple times, you know, 90,000 people upset loss to, to Andy Ruiz, you know, a relatively unknown to, to the general public. This guy gets knocked down four times in, in, in one single fight. The referee says, no, you can't do no more. But does that take away from Anthony Joshua's greatness? Absolutely not. Anthony Joshua has to get back up and get back in that ring and handle his business. But what I love about Anthony Joshua is what he said after the fight. He said, look, you know, you get knocked down, I just gotta take it like a man. Losses come with the game. But never let success go to your head and never let failures go to your heart. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna just say that one more time. So for any of you who right now are, are sitting and you're like, oh my God, my world's over. I just took a loss, especially if it was a public loss in business or whatever your respective industry is, please remember this. Never let success go to your head and never let failure go to your heart. Stay humble, stay focused, and just understand that failing, setbacks, disappointments, it's all part of the journey. Learn from it. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.